two hang out together. Oh, jeez. Every strong man's got a soft side. <laughs> what a wonderful way to welcome everyone to the live show. Boom! There you go. It's a little fun today because... Why? <laughs> <laughs> so... Normally, it's when all the cats are away, the mice will play, but this time, all the mice are away. I got rid of the mice. And the cats are trying to play, and... We're playing nice. For the most part. Kind of like herding cats. Yeah, kind of, because you got a bunch of people that are all around going, to, um, how, do we, how do we do such... You got you Phil know. sitting over there trying to, not to cough on everybody. Stay right. over there. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's, he's, he's yucky Sicky. today. This one's my favorite. It sounds do that one last. Yes. No, like, do that one like last. It. It's okay. Oh. It's so nice. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So, a couple of new SIG toys. New SIG stuff. SIG tools. Yes. Speaking of tools. It's not nice to talk about doing? people like that. <laughs> you know? Look at that. It's hey! It's still got all the SIG love on it. All the love from SIG. That's a long one. Clear? Yeah, I see clear. 365 XL. Longer barrel, longer grip. Comes with three extenders. Sure I'm not Comes yeah. with two 12 round mags, but they make a 15 rounder for it. So this is, you pick it up, and the size, yeah. if, oh, if you nice. can ignore the lack of girth, which is difficult for me because, you know. You're not used to girth, we know. I'm, I'm way used to girth. So, you ignore that. It has very similar dimensions to a 19, to a Glock 19. Close. But it is but way skinnier. thinner. And 15 shorter. Rounds. And uh, unlike the regular 19, that one is already got night sights installed. Yep. And what's that little thing right there? there? There's a cut. I don't know if an RMR, the RMR still, might look a little odd on that. I still call it RMR, but um, you get the gist. Yeah, but they're not all Kleenexes. They're tissues, but they're not all Kleenexes. So uh, it would be a micro dot, micro red dot, MRD. But it's pre-cut. Um, but it is pre-cut. Yeah. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't even come with any plates or anything. Not that I've seen. Uh -uh. Yeah. Um, however, Here's, uh, the, the hearsay says that there will be a Romeo Zero that's designed for this that will be launching very, very soon. Oop, covering up the 365. She nice. So, very, very, very cool gun. We have one in the range, so come shoot them. Yep, play with a couple them, go home with one. Um, I, and we're finally able to actually keep the 365 in stock. It's amazing what having yep. tripled the number sent to us has been able to do. But. I like the 365 a lot. Yeah. Very compact, very concealable. I like the XL better. I like the XL better because the extended, the longer grip allows me to punch a mag without really having to adjust my grip very much. Right, and it's really not any longer than the regular 365 with the extended pinky 10 rounder um, or with the 12 rounder that, that fits right in there. So, She's um, nice. and it comes with two 12 round mags which i yep. think is even cooler yep and it, again it is cut for an optic so oh, the other cool thing about, all the coolness the other cool thing about the 15 round mags that sig has come out with they will work in all 365s yeah so you have a little much come with a replaceable ones. base plate for a standard 365 which mm -hmm. actually extends the grip super nice yeah. so come get really one of these. cool or two of these. And two then this one, the new, oh, that the one. new I hotness. I can't touch um, that. Now, everybody saw me geek, geek out about the Walther PPQ, uh, the Q5 oh. match. And I really liked that one. I, I don't know. Oh. I'm not sure which one I'd rather have, but I'm really, really, really leaning into this one. Um, this is the new 320 X5 Legion. Um, so it is literally set up, ready to go, out of the box, Run start down. shooting matches. Um, it's got their bull barrel, it's got fiber optic front sight, blacked out rear, uh, adjustable for windage and elevation. Um, it's, got, uh, it's got the lightning ports in the top, just like the other standard X5. That is an RMR. Right? It yeah. is cut for an, uh, the optics. Uh, you have a base or the magwell that comes with it, as well as the tungsten weight inside of it. And then they went and did what I don't 
know okay. why nobody else thought about doing so that, but good. they embedded nine ounces of tungsten into the polymer grip. So you have a, a gun that weighs, I want to say 41 and a half ounces, I believe, um, which is like just barely squeaking in on IDPA limits. So you can take the magwell off and run it as a standard SSP gun. Um, you can leave the magwell run on and run it as an ESP gun for uh, IDPA. You have flush fit mag, comes with three. Um, they all have metal base plates uh, from Henning Group. So if you don't know who Henning Group is, they're kind of a newer company. Uh, been out a couple of years, been building base pads, um, but very small, compact, but they do add a little bit of extra weight. Um, they're full free. I mean, they're great. really nice. They're like, like I said, they're flush fit. So 17 they rounders. They're great. 17 rounders. So you can obviously, for you USPSA guys, tearing extensions on the base of those. There are some others, but tearing base pads is what make, I would run. It's a 19 um, round 320 mags that'll go in it. So yeah. So, I mean, it's just, it and then the standards, it's got the flat sh trigger in there. Yep. Um, so the trigger, one of their cool things, or one of the things that SIG thinks is the cool thing about the flat trigger is that it comes back and it breaks at 90 degrees. I, I'm not sure where the, like, well, I think you should, like, the wall should be at 90 and then that's where it should yeah. break. Well, your distance but to reset is shorter. It breaks to the 90, and then you get that real short reset. I would just like to see it, like, right there would be my wall. Get your credit card out, let's go shoot it. And then have it break. Get but Phil's credit card. That's just me. We could probably take Phil today. Good. <laughs> yeah, I do not want to mess with Phil's wife when oh, she yeah, finds out that we ran the card. So. I'm totally down for the give me your wallet and we'll go play. Um, but just really, really cool gun. I mean, it balances nicely. Like, mm. That's a high demand and gun, and we have three or we four. We got three or four of, four of them right now. Um, so I don't think people know that we have them. So come that's in, play them. It's, it's, it's not a so carry nice. gun. That, you know, there's no way you'd want to carry that bright, thing. I mean, it is heavy. Look how bright that front sight is. It is, is heavy. In this man, light. it is awesome. For the, the, us competition shooters, I'm geeking out over them. So I have not been lucky enough to shoot one of those yet because we won't put one like on the it. range. I like it. I we want know. to sell them. You um, guys want them first. But yeah, so um, for those of you that do have the 320s or the X5 standards in the Coyote, I'm gonna leave that you out. can get just the frame on there so you can have that tungsten. Um, I want to say it runs like 200 bucks, something like that, but really, really cool. I like really it. nice. So, and it's under a thousand bucks, which I think is its biggest, its biggest advantage. The PPQ, the, the Q5 match polymer is a little bit cheaper. Um, but I think the real one, the real the winner, winner on that X, on the, uh, the, Q5. X5, the Q5 match is the steel, the steel yeah. frame, which I think is awesome. Yeah. Um, but I think this tungsten one, she's a runner. I, I yeah. hear it shoots better than even the regular X5 does. And I'm a big I'm fan sure of the X5. So, um, I like it. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, our SIG rep said he's going to bring me one that I can shoot in a match. So I'll shoot it in oh, a match really? and then I'll tell you guys about it. Let you know how <laughs> terrible I did, but how great the gun did. That's every gun you shoot. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Um, what so are we, you, you, excitement Are we for, talking about anything today? We're, we're yeah, well, you know. We All right. Are upcoming classes. Talking. Got new owner classes. on Thursday. Yep. But so that's something that I don't, I don't know if everybody knows this or not, but anytime you buy a gun from us, you get a free class that'll show you how to take it apart, clean it, put it back together. Our armorers teach that course. And that's any gun that you buy from us, we'll teach you how to clean it. Yep. No charge to you. If you want to take that class, what is it, 25, 45, mm, 45 bucks? 45 bucks. 45 dollars. So you can bring that gun that you don't know how to do anything with in, 45 bucks will learn you up. Uh, and then a bunch of different awesome classes coming up. We've got basic carbine, basic handgun, CCW, as always, that's a really popular one. We're running that quite a bit. 
Uh, we've got defensive handgun one and two, defensive shotgun, little plug next week we have our girls just want to have guns um, there are still a couple of spots left in yep. that one hurry hurry um, we've got intermediate pistol which is the new one that phil came up with and low light all over the next couple two or three weeks so lots of classes Keeping coming up there are spots in most of those left open um, i know i just pulled one from the 17th ccw and moved him to the 31st so i know there's one opening in on the 17th now as well and um, right now you need your ccw Yes, get it now. Um, obviously, we've we've seen. Let's just well get into talk about the gorilla bit. in the room. Yes. So the big thing right now is we've got two major shootings. I guess I don't necessarily want to call them mass shootings because I don't know if that's necessarily the the best. Two screwed up form, guys. But, uh, two screwed up guys. One is being talked about quite a bit because he made his intentions very well known. Um, right off the bat, posting his manifesto. The second guy, um, the Daytona guy, or the Dayton, Ohio guy, um, that's a bit of a, more of a mystery as to why. That guy was just, it's um, not really he a was just a mean butt jerk. Yeah, so he's, they, that's the one that really, like this El Paso first, guy, he's just an idiot. Like, uh, let's just face it, like, he's an idiot. There's, absolutely. There, there's people on both sides of the fence <laughs> that are at the extremes. And this guy, I don't think he was at one end or the other. I think he was just an absolute loony bin. Um, the, 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 so the El Paso, the, the Texas guy, supposedly posted a manifesto drove what 10 hours yeah got lost decided he wanted to eat and went okay i'll do it here yeah that's what we're hearing used an ak variant rifle um wore ear pro and eye pro maybe he wears glasses but we've seen pictures of him wearing ear pro what, what uh, which i believe is the first shooter well, actually, I think the Dayton guy had ear pro on as well. He was set, that was the second shooting though, and there's some theories that like so the Dayton kid, the one that the, the part that really kind of throws me on that one. So this kid graduated like ten years, like five, six, or 2013, um, 2012, somewhere around there. So he graduated almost ten years ago, but ten years ago he was actually kicked like out of the school. <laughs> well, whatever. He graduated a number of years ago. Not that many. However, what? 10 years ago, he was getting in all kinds of trouble at school. He had a known kill list and a known rape list yep. that he was adding students, teachers, family yep. members. Like some of his own family members were on these kill lists and stuff. And expelled he from was school into, for it. Yeah, he was expelled from school for it. He was gone for like a year out of school. Um, as, early, as late as like 2018, he was in a band that was into porno grind music. I didn't know what porno grind music was, so I did, had to do a little searching. Um, it is, the lyrics are very I, I graphic, wanna... very violent, and uh, it should tell you just about all you need to know with a guy that's in a, a band that has porno grind music. Um, a kill list and a rape list. This guy was a, a loon. Um, he, the thing that's not getting brought up and why this one won't be in your mainstream media is he was a far left supporter. He was a Bernie Sanders and yep. Elizabeth Warren supporter. Yep. Constant retweets of them, big into gun control. My belief is that he, was, he, he was, had been wanting to do this for a long time used the El Paso shooter and his uh, ability of posting that manifesto that said in the manifesto, I, in short, I've got to do it now. I haven't really planned, but I'm going to do it now because if I wait, I will do it. I will talk myself out of it. I think this guy had been planning for a long time, wanting to do it. He's known to have been one of those kids that he was a bully. Um, was a, a bully. Again, he had to kill it, but he was also known to sh like do the finger guns at people, pretending to shoot them, threatening to take people outside and shoot them. Um, the thing that I find odd is some of the people they're they're talking to and interviewing said that he was big into guns and wanted to teach people how to shoot guns safely, <coughs> but he was big into gun control. The uh, the Twitter account that he's got is constantly posting different comments about 
gun control and how we need that. Um, there was another tweet that was, I think he retweeted or something like that, saying Bernie Sanders needs to need to hurry up and die. The millennials uh, or a message from the millennials, Bernie saying Bernie, whatever. The dude was obviously a nutball, but he was a nutball that supported the left wing. So the media is not going to be promoting anything about that, and it's just going to be included in the. We had two mass shootings in one weekend, and this guy was a racist. Well, this guy wasn't, but the El Paso guy was. Yep. So it sounds really bad when you've got two of them and this guy's racist. You just assume that it's covering both of them, but they won't, don't want to bring up the fact that this guy, my belief, he was mm -hmm. after the ability of having a second gun shooting at the same time he was pretty much cashing in his life and figured if I do it now, I can get the major push to have gun control be the, the, the hotbed issue and I can increase because he was liking and commenting on some of the posts about the El Paso shooter and the 22 people who died and he figured I'll add on to it and help the gun control debate. That was enough. So first of all, all. Even the fact that we have to talk about this is just heart wrenching. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It's the world we live in now. These kids, we've just we've screwed kids up. All right. Mm -hmm. So, and and it's all of our faults as adults because we're so polarizing right now. It's like if you don't think the same way that I do, then I have the right to punch you in the nose. Right. Somehow that exists now, and I don't get it. Um, that bothers me a lot. Um, El Paso. Um, Guy came, it looks like he came from a nice, affluent family, mm. upper middle class. Um, how his brain got wrapped around the fact that we were in the middle of invasion, he was a big supporter of the Christchurch guy. Mm -hmm. Supposedly, he stole most of his manifesto items from that guy's manifesto. Um, how you think that it's okay to do that to another person? Um, it baffles me. But I, I don't there's it. a couple things to keep an eye on here, all right? We've been paying attention. Um, magazine capacity is obviously going to come up, uh, especially the Dayton guy at a hundred round drum mag. Um, mm, they, uh, see, and that's where I'm getting conflicting stories. They, I've heard that he had the capacity of over a hundred rounds, they had a and he had drum yeah. mags. They I had don't know there was a supposedly there are pictures out there of the of the firearm that he used with the drum mag. But not only that, he used an AR pistol with a with a uh, brace. Right. So they look for him to come after braces. Look for him to come after magazines. Whether or not they get the the semi-automatic modern sporting rifle thing done, probably not. But they're going to come after those, and I think you're going to see both sides come into an agreement of some sort on that. So be aware of that. Be in contact with your congressman. Um, I think uh, there's also some interesting things here relating to our first responders. Um, first of all, it's heart-wrenching to think that you, as a first responder, have to walk into a Walmart and see that kind of thing. Those folks are going to need a lot more help than just a pat on the back. Um, the, uh, and that guy, I, I, this is something that just, I'm sitting here scratching my head going, did this really, is this accurate? He's in a Walmart with what, th over 3,000 people in it. That nobody there was a CCW holder. There, so that? there is a, now, there, there are a couple of stories of a guy coming from the. Yeah. I guess there was a, 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 a mall attached Walmart to Walmart in a sort of a mall. Yeah. Um, I know they've got a lot of those outdoor malls. Yeah, there was so. one CCW carrier who saw a bunch of kids and kind of corralled them and decided he was going to stay there and protect him, them. Yeah, and he helped them rush I, them out. I uh, get that. Marine, that's, I believe that's a good thing. Um, awesome um, dude. Awesome dude. And a dude that had a very troubled history early on and like wanted to, to join the military to go that route. I mean, guys Straight got a really, a, a cool really, story. really interesting backstory to it. Um, and this is just one of those things that just adds on to this is, this is one of those guys that we, we I think we need more of. Those kids that they, he had a hard time growing up, definitely got into his fair share of trouble, had his outbursts with the law and so forth but straightened himself out and went 
uh, thank God for the one Marine recruiter that spent like two years helping this kid get into be the Marine. Oh, that's um, cool. And so here's this guy out there trying to do what he can, even when he doesn't have to, yeah. to help people out. So big ups to him. Yeah. So, and, you know, they're, they're going to put the modern sporting rifles back on the platform, magazine capacity. Braces are going to be an issue. Body armor is going to be an issue. Apparently the guy in Dayton had body armor on, they reported. Um, I'm not sure if it was actually body armor from I did see some video on this can't tell if it was actually body armor if it was just kit right uh, but the law the sheriff there reported body armor so perhaps that's at it so there's something that I want if you haven't seen the video it's out there it's not too bad if you wanted to watch it but just be aware um, there is some graphic stuff in it the Dayton shooter um, I want to point a couple things out here that I found very interesting. And this is where training plays in. We talk about train, 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 train. Um, when the shooting started, this, he started on the street. His sister apparently was his first victim. And then he just went into whoever, you know, you're next, you're next, you're next. The people that were there were evacuating the street, looking for anywhere that they could get into. There's camera angle from a bar or restaurant that a lot of folks we're running into. Um, the doorman there was on a radio, um, kind of trying to get an eye on what was going on. Kudos to him for trying to be situationally aware so that he can direct folks and know what was happening instead of just blindly running. I right. think that's a great point. This guy was aware of where the threat was and was paying attention to it. Um, the police officers, there's another camera angle from the opposite end of the street, immediately began to advance towards the gunfire. Yep. That is impressive. When you hear Same that kind of a bang the, going on. Uh, uh, California shooting. Yep. Immediately advancing towards the threat. Um, the uh, At least one officer had an AR that, I, that you can see in the um, video. A couple of other officers had shotguns, but there were three or four that were using handguns. Um, and they saw the direction that he was traveling in and kind of set up a little bit of an ambush. If you, they used the cars that were there, they used the cover that, and concealment that they had available to them. But one of the things that really struck me is this perp, this oxygen waster, dirt bag, dirt bag was so, he was running up the street and he was so focused on chasing his prey, his victims, into that restaurant that he almost literally ran by the officers who had set this ambush up. They, he didn't even see them. And they were able to eliminate him before he made entry there. Um, uh, uh, and they did some good things even with that. He was in a position where nobody else was in the crossfire. Um, the, those guys it took top out in notch. 30 seconds. Top notch, top notch, top Him notch. Him and the California kid taken out in under, under 30 seconds. Yeah, so. top notch. And so. The only way that happens is. A, a they train, they gun. practice, yep. And, and even after the shooting, you saw in the video, officers were doing mag changes, they were checking peripheral for additional threats. They were making sure that they weren't in each other's line of fire as they were moving. Um, really kind of impressive stuff on there, and so kudos to them. But um, the world's different. Uh, you're not gonna get rid of these wolves that are out there. In fact, we're making more of them, especially with the, the, the fact the that the adults can't even stink and talk to each other anymore right. without, if you disagree with me, then you're a racist or a bigot or you're an idiot and it's on both sides i don't care which side of the aisle that you're on um somebody's got to be an adult in the room and let's let's have some conversations why in the world is a kid that was expelled from high school for a, a hate manifesto a kill list how in the world was he able to legally purchase that firearm it seems like there's something wrong there to me that's where now, now we're going to open the door for these red flag states and the red flag laws yeah we can talk about that all day day long we talked about them in here before no here, this I, kid got away with it because what he did when he did all of that was on his minor juvenile record yeah and so when still, he went to be an wrong. adult it was listed still as wrong. expunged so there's another thing to be aware of ladies and gentlemen is these red flag laws by state are going to start to be a real issue um, and in a nutshell the red flag law says that if i perceive that chris is a threat to himself or others i can report him to law enforcement and they can come confiscate his firearms okay for his protection and the protection of the public okay so 
and, and the situation with the Dayton guy. Hey, this guy is friggin' nuts. He's got this kill list. He's threatened a couple people. You need to go look at him. That's, that's a legitimate, hey, go look at him. Give yeah. him due process and take his stuff. Yeah, I think right? there's I'm not a big. A, I'm not a fan of just confiscating because yeah. he said, she said. If you go through due process and you're deemed to be a Mentally threat. And fit, yeah. That's a different story. Absolutely. But I guarantee you there are people out there, I, and I know this is hard to believe, but there may be some people that don't like me. All they have to do under a red flag law is call the police and say, he, I think he's a threat to himself and to others. Right. They can just go in my house and take my stuff. That's bad. That's yeah, a and, a, and, and a, there's people that think that anybody who owns a gun that's is a threat. That's yeah. a, and I don't know if you heard Phil or not, but there are people out there that think if you own a gun, you are already a threat. So if you don't know, one, like I had a buddy of mine, um, he's actually a, an attorney, and he posted a thing which was uh, spot on, I think, in regards to all of this. If you don't think that those kinds of situations will be abused and those kinds of abilities of having things taken from other people will, aren't going to be abused, look at the divorce court. Look at what parents will do to each other because of restraining children. Restraining orders. Restraining and, orders yeah. and falsifications and like it's just it goes on and on of the amount that people don't have the common courtesy and common decency to actually look at what's happening yep. and actually make an honest decision as to what they should say, totally, do totally or otherwise. Messed up. Totally messed up. And you are on your phone, yeah, and sorry. Phil is about to explode over there. If you guys could Come see on over. Phil. Come on over. He really wants to do oh, something. Give me some love. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. breathe on me. Phil ain't even talking about violence. He's talking about cuddling, yeah. which will be the death of you. That's scarier. Yeah. No. As scary as he is. Just with him being so, all like folks, up lungs and stuff. Be aware of what's going on around you. Always have options. We talk about it all the time. If you're somewhere and you hear that sound that makes it doesn't sound like anything else, it won't sound like a firecracker, it won't sound like a car backfiring. There's a distinctive sound when that firearm goes bang. You need to immediately already have a plan. My, I've got an exit over here, I've got an exit over there, the sound's coming from over here. I'm moving in this direction. But you need to be aware that, that some, and we've seen it overseas repeatedly in these coordinated events, um, somebody will cause a disturbance and herd people to a kill zone. So you always got to have your head on a swivel. We saw a video not too long ago of two police officers chasing a stolen car suspect through a um, housing complex. And out of nowhere, one of these officers got a gun shoved in his face by a guy who was just standing there watching the chase. Uh, and fortunately, the officer survived the incident, but you don't know where that threat's gonna come from. Am I saying you gotta walk around with your hand on your gun and your NV goggles on and no. I would suggest not the don't NV do goggles that. during the daytime. You won't see anything. And Be aware. Even at nighttime, it's hard to see through. Yep. Be aware. And as soon as that, as soon as the hairs on your neck go up and you perceive a threat, go to Condition Orange and take action. Put yourself in a better position than you were in, please. And if you don't know what that means or how to do that, give us a call 636-220-1300. We can take care of that. We can um, talk to Phil. Help you help in you between all coughs, those he will help you yep. get signed up for a class. We um, always say it. You know, I'd rather need it and not have it. Nope. That's not what we say. I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So um, yeah. that's one of the good things about when, when I put my firearm in the morning, I pray that that never comes out of the holster. Yeah, I'd rather be a warrior farming than a farmer trying to warrior. Yeah, okay. I'd rather Gladiator. have the preparation that, that enables me to have a logical sense of what yep. to do when and then figure out, okay, now how do I feed myself? Then yeah. to know how to feed myself but can't protect myself. Yeah, we're not talking SEAL Team 6 skill sets. It's here. okay to miss a meal. Um, what? If I don't get a meal together, well, I, clearly you don't miss many, yeah. but we're not, it's okay to miss a meal yeah. because you, you haven't yeah. gotten something going right, you burnt your pasta or whatever, um, but to send a round out of the barrel of a gun that I'm controlling that doesn't hit it where it's supposed to and hits what it shouldn't, it's a scary thing. It, yeah. So know what you're doing. Know how to set those sights up to where you're going to have success. Know how to use your ears, your eyes, your feet to keep yeah. yourself out of those situations as well.
Yeah. That's 99% of it. Use this thing between your ears. Don't turn it off. Make sure that you've got it turned on, that you're aware of what's going on around you. Yeah. Have a plan. I plan to buy this X5 <laughs> for matches, though. <laughs> it's just sitting here and, and all this like, bad talk about doing bad things and stuff. And all I'm thinking about is, man. Let's go like, shoot this. I'm going to have two gun matches this weekend that this thing would work really for. Because it just goes chugga, chugga, chugga. Phil, any comments, any questions over there? Anything? No. Just no a bunch of so but, with Dave Workman did just say, I'd rather have a bottle in front of me than a front of the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, like. Mike Dell said, uh, people on buses sounding like they're crunching rocks definitely makes the air on the back of your neck. Somehow. True that. Oh. True that. Been there, done that. Who said that? Mike Odell. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Mike. Was he there? Yeah. Was he? Are you I kidding me? It was tour guide of Mike. Oh, Rowell. that's right. That's yes. right. Yes. And yes, he watched you. We were all just situational. Naked naked back oh, there just I was gaining all the things back. And <laughs> we were just sitting back going, oh, my God. Like, as many I could rocks hit, as that guy I could was hit, chewing I mean, on, I don't think he, I was, I don't think I he was, was ever thinking about attacking you there. I right. was so focused on that guy, but I could still hear you guys giggling. <laughs> We didn't hide it very well. <laughs> it was hard to hide. We right. figured he wasn't going to be bothered. He was grinding it up. Ugh. Anything else we need to talk about? we got some cool stuff going on. Um, later this month, what is it, August 26th or 27th, somewhere in there, it's a Monday. We're gonna have, the store's going to be closed because yeah. we're redoing the parking yeah. lot. 26. We're going to do some maintenance in the bays. We're going to do some floor reset stuff, do some inventory stuff. So we're going to be closed on that Monday. But... Make sure you're following us on Insta Tool and Face McGregor or whatever that stuff is because wow. you're going to be posting some cool stuff about some things we're going to do that weekend yep. and some online specials that we'll run on that Monday since the store's not open that you're going to want to jump yep. on and take you advantage of. You can't come in here, but you can still have way fun. Yep. yep. So. Springfield Days pricing. Yep. Springfield, Springfield Days. Springfield Days pricing has been extended till Friday. Thank you, yep. Diva. Um, so you get 10% off all Springfield stuffs. Yep. Don't forget their gear up program is going on right that now. That thing um, is awesome. So even if you bought a gun back through, I believe it's the 1st of July. July 1st. July 1st all yep. the way up um, until August they 31st, stop it. Um, there is no end date as of yet okay. that we know of. I guess that it's probably going to be fourth quarter though. Just a guess. Um, Bottom line is but, it's a great deal. It's like two hundred dollars yes. worth of swag. Yeah, you magazines, get holsters, mag carriers. Total, you'll have a hard case and a soft case. Yep. You'll have five total mags, a double mag pouch, and a holster yep. for whatever the gun is. Um, Not every gun qualifies, but it basically, most if it's an XD, XD or XDS, your XDS, your XDMs, those um, are all going to qualify pretty yeah, much. Yeah, so, so if you want to, you're looking for a competition shooter and you don't want a big heavy sig. Springfield's got their 525. That That's is, nice, too. That is a really nice pistol. I'll tell you what, we've got a really, really good deal right now on their 1911 mil spec. I think we've got three or four of them left. Yeah, those are neat. I, can I tell a price on the show? Yeah. It's less than this. Yes. Less For than a mil spec. Less than five Benjamins. Less than five Benjamins for a mil spec 45 1911, five inch. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> anyway, we got yeah. like three of those left, so. Yep, so we got come a bunch see of those. Us. Come we see got us. Come stuff. See us. Um, let us know how many CMMG mutants we need to have. And banshees and all the rest. Of we need several, yeah. Yes! You guys all heard it. All right, anything else we got to cover? Um, Do it. I don't think so. Do it. Not that I know of. All right. Come see us, Let's go 14803 play. Manchester Road, therangestl.com, 636-220-1300. It's like all the different ways, plus FaceTube, U-Book. Oh, it's FaceTube. And Instagro giggles. Instagropes, is that what you were going to say? <laughs> Instagropes. <laughs> yeah, you were the one walking around No, asking. but it is unusual. It is you, like, you scared how many, Hold on. How many people... Have that guy, and you know you'll know who that guy is. That guy that posted, probably about two weeks ago, a week and a half ago, that were posting up saying, "Hey, with all of this 
pedophilia and all that going on, wait for the shooting. Yeah. It's weird. Well. Not to kick off any of them conspiracy theories. Yeah, I know. There's, there's, there's a lot of that weirdness going on. Well, speaking of weirdness. Tin foil. Didn't we? Didn't we talk you know about what? the tin foil hat thing? We're we should have Marines yeah. doing tin foil. We hats should do and a stuff. tin foil hat day. Yeah. <laughs> have a competition in here who has the nicest tin foil hat. Well, now that we got armadillos that are actually coming into Missouri <laughs> at like massive rates, according to some, those make the best helmets. Uh, dude, you're friggin' weird. I, you, Dukes of Hazard, the new Dukes of Hazard. Come on now, it was in there. All right, you say so. It'd beware a man that comes into your office and says, eh, and says, hey, you want to order some silkies? Yeah. Dude, no. Rain no. silkies. Look, no. yes. <laughs> yes, rain silkies. It needs to be a thing. I got a list of everybody that's already going for them. So um, hit us up and let it comment below. What size silkies do we need? Do we need green and red and black? Just green, just black? What if we raise money to get you in silkies? Six zeros minimum. Dude, I'll give him eight zeros. Eight zeros and then a one and then a dollar. Oh my gosh. I'm down. I have a picture of me in silkies from the eighth grade. So with the let's tall socks see and what the high top. What the difference would be between your eighth grade and your oh, no. mouth grade. You gotta do it, bro. No way. The silkies yes. are no. so comfortable. They're okay. great. We are moving in a direction that I am not comfortable with. But if you had silkies, you'd be comfortable. Um, and that's a fact. Jack. No. No. Microphone? No. no. Let's, we're, 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 we digress. See you next week. Yes. Silkies. <laughs> Terrible. Next spot. <laughs>